Let's talk about groin vaults. Whether they are square, rectangular, or gothic in shape, all can be built easily with less time, material, and labor using Armstrong Drywall Grid and our customized shop drawings for drywall or stucco vaults. Your Armstrong Installation Specialist will work with you to create your project-specific shops which include RCPs, section cuts, and radius templates. Let's watch a carpenter's training installation step-by-step step and see just how easy your next groin vault installation can be. On a 4x8 piece of drywall or plywood, we will use both in this video. Let's mark off every 6 inches, the radius coordinates from our shop drawings. Next, we are screwing a drywall screw at these coordinates. A piece of 12 gauge wire draped over these screws makes a nice guide when tracing a clean radius line. Armstrong offers pre-faceted main runners that are cut for bending every 8 or 16 inches. If your radius is tighter than 15 feet, then you will need a main cut every 8 inches. Greater than 15 feet? Then you will need to cut and clip your main every 16 inches. RC2 clips reinforce and put the strength back into a cut radius main runner. Before installing, it is crucial to lay out your whole installation on the floor. First, we need to install your perimeter barrel vault shaped mains that you just made. These will outline the four sides at the perimeter of your groin vault. As you install these mains, constantly verify with a plumb laser that they are plumb with the, your outline on the floor. We are holding this installation off these walls to represent a standalone vault as is commonly found on most commercial job sites. Now that we have installed the four perimeter barrels, let's fabricate our diagonal sweep main runners that make up the groin radius that's shaped like an X on the RCP. Here we are coming out of each corner at 45 degrees with our groin radius main runners. These will reach out and attach to the corner opposite in a square or rectangular installation. Again, plumbing your layout of these mains with your floor layout is crucial. After we come out of the two remaining corners with our groin radius mains, all of the radius framing for our vault will be finished. Proper attachment of these two final mains will help to center our installation perfectly with our plumb laser following the ground markings. Complete your final wire ties equilaterally at the proper heights along your mains, keeping all levels plumb with your laser. Now, all we have to install are straight cross tees. These are what the drywall will screw to, not the curved main runners. Depending on your radius, you will typically install cross tees on 8 or 16 inch centers. Every tee will be cut to a different length as it travels down the slope of the groin and barrel main. Ensure your tees are square to the barrel mains at the perimeter before attachment. Well, we're finished. For your next curved, soffit, or light cove drywall installation, contact your Armstrong Installation Specialist for help with shop drawings, training, or a project using less time, material, and labor.